Hi everyone, and welcome to my weekly thrift store finds video. I am going to start posting these weekly since I have, I have found a decent thrift store to go to. And it's about 17 miles from where I live. I just returned from there picking up some things and all together I spent $18.25. So this is what I picked up. First thing I have is a little game here. It's called Flip Fish. I don't know if anybody remembers these games. I remember them. This one you have to try to get the little, get the fish in the into the uh, net. So if I can do it here. But yeah, I remember these as a kid. That was pretty neat. You don't see these all the time anymore. And I paid 25 cents for it. Next thing I got is an electronic handheld game that is Touchdown Football. I'm not sure if these ones are as popular as like the Yahtzee handhelds or not. And all those are going for like $15, $20 on eBay. But if not, I can start a little handheld game collection. So I picked this up, it's still sealed. Next I picked up a board game. It's called Solomon's Temple. It's a board game. Looks like it's kind of something like Risk. It's a card based game it looks like. I paid dollar fifty for this. I thought that was gonna be a neat board game. Yeah, for the hand for the handheld game I paid two dollars. But that risk that or that Solomon's type of board game, I thought that was kind of a unique board game, so I picked it up. Next I picked up is a Game Boy Advance case. I got this for thirty cents. Or 40 cents, I should say. 40 cents. So. Next, I picked up two VHS tapes. I picked up Kid and Play. And I like, I like to pick up unique VHS tapes or VHS tapes that might not be released on DVD. And this one probably is released on DVD, but I got it anyways. Next one is New Orleans MTV, The Real World. The Real World You Never Saw, which I'm guessing it's like behind the scenes and stuff they had to edit out of the, the show that they shown on TV. So I got this, obviously this is never gonna be shown on, or this is never gonna be released on DVD, I should say, so maybe some the real world fan might want this, so and both VHS tapes I paid 25 cents for. I also picked up a Pet Groom Pro 2, which uses batteries for 50 cents, or maybe that's 30 cents. I think it's 50 cents. And recently lost my other dog's brush, so I bought this one. Don't know if I'll put batteries in it, but although she's a manually, I don't need the batteries. I'll pick that up. Next are some PC games. I picked up Kellogg's Pop Tarts Rescue Rusties, which they were promoting the Robots movie. And I'm not sure if these were in the box with the Pop Tarts or you sent away for it. But see, so it presents Robots the movie. The CD-ROM contains personal robot builder, two unique games, animated e-card, screensaver, and two printable activities. It says it's one of three CD-ROMs available. I paid 50 cents for this. So, into collecting PC games, so I get all, all the games I could find. 
Next is The Wild World of Garfield. It has screensavers, comics, games, and wallpapers. It says it includes every comic strip from June 19th, 1978 through April 15th, 2005. The History of Garfield, an exclusive interview with its creator, Jim Davis, who created Garfield. So it has little games you can play and little comics you can view. So I thought that was kind of neat. I paid $2 for it. Yeah. Next is a CD I picked up. I picked up Jive Records bonus CD sampler featuring the Backstreet Boys. That was a dollar fifty, which is probably too much for CDs nowadays. That's too much, but I paid it. Dollar seventy-five. I picked up Mike Piazza, Major League Baseball SYB card. So there's dozens of full motion videos from the biggest blast to the greatest catches. Hundreds of innings with Cyber Cards trivia game. I'm not sure exactly what kind of game this is, but it's still sealed. Picked up another one similar to it, except this is Dan Marino, CYB Series 2. It says full motion video clips from NFL files highlighting the 1996 season and career view incredible plays from multiple angles. Wired for sound, footage put you in that huddle on the sidelines. So I'm still kind of stumped on what these two games are really about. It's not really, it's not obviously a real game, but I don't know. It's been, if anyone's ever seen these, let me know exactly what they are. I'm still confused. And last thing I picked up is a, this is a Mr. Wonderful. And I picked this up, believe it or not, this was $1.50, and if I would have known it was that much, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But it says, Mr. Wonderful. It says, Mr. Wonderful has been carefully developed with today's modern woman in mind. He's... He is complete with good looks, sense of style, sensitivity, charm, and is genuinely sincere. The perfect gift for any woman, whether single or married. Actually, I'm not sure which way to go. I'll turn in here and ask directions. Here, you take the remote. As long as I'm with you, I don't care what we watch. So... Those are my weekly thrift store finds. And most of the stuff I get is, most of it's for sale or trade, so if you see anything you might want, just comment below or send me a message and we can work something out. And until next week, I thank you for watching. Bye.